billions of these tiny ants call Australia home. The problem is, they're ranked as one of the world's worst invasive species. A single yellow crazy ant is only about four millimetres in size, but they're fierce. These little insects don't bite, instead they spray acid from their abdomen, which blinds and immobilises animals. And even humans can get hit, causing nasty burns on our skin. Here in Townsville, they've been multiplying exponentially, leaving residents and experts wondering how to stamp them out for good. A fight against an introduced tyrant, the rabbit, quickly breeding to staggering numbers in this harsh country, and then displayed their potential to destruct by turning it into a dust bowl. Australia is no stranger to invasive animals. We've got 200 million wild rabbits wreaking havoc on plants and animals, feral pigs that destroy crops and wetlands in the country's north, feral goats, foxes, rats, camels, cane toads, they're all pretty well documented. So ants probably aren't what come to mind when we think of pests. Yellow crazy ant is one of the world's worst invasive ant species that can be a domestic nuisance, but yellow crazy ant is particularly prominent for its environmental impacts. Their name says it all, yellow crazy ants. That's their color and pretty much their temperament. They're chaotic when disturbed, and they're thought to be native to tropical Southeast Asia or parts of Africa. We don't know for sure how they ended up here, but they were first spotted in Northern Australia in 1980 and infested 25,000 square kilometers of land in two decades. For context, that's about four times the size of Perth. The bush on Ian Cottrell's property is dead silent. Any animal that used to call this place home has been driven out by the vicious ants. There'd be animals moving through the scrub there, you don't see them anymore. The wallabies used to come down through here, you don't see them anymore. Just go through here and have a look at them. He shows me around his Townsville backyard where the ants are swarming. Just move this rock out of the road here. Just move that down and have Oy, a look at that. Look at that. So that ground is completely honeycombed with ant nest. It's a real environmental disaster. It hasn't taken long for them to take over the patch of land because... The little insects are incredible invaders. While most ant species have separate nests, each with one breeding ant, the queen, yellow crazy ant nests can have an unlimited number of queens, each producing babies. That means they can very quickly explode in numbers. So there was one log I'm aware of where they just stopped counting after 1,000 queens. So that's a lot of queens laying a lot of eggs. Dr Ben Hoffman knows basically everything there is to know about yellow crazy ants. He's studied them all around the country and helped develop plans to eradicate them. So it is a predaceous species, it does kill other things. Uh, so yeah, ants are very capable of being very destructive. Each queen can produce tens of eggs every day and they live for a few years, meaning one queen can produce thousands and thousands of ants in their lifetime. Queens and workers are all females. The queens reproduce while the workers are responsible for bringing in food, caring for the eggs and defending the colony. The only role for males is to mate with the queen before dying. While many ant species have separate colonies that compete and even fight with each other, yellow crazy ant colonies collaborate and can even combine to form giant super colonies that cover massive areas hundreds of hectares in size. Dominating food and nesting resources because they don't have any natural predators. All this gives yellow crazy ants one of their key superpowers, population density. So it will nest everywhere, individuals from different queens will intermingle and get along together. And so, you know, yellow crazy ants almost the perfect storm of a species and that's what makes it invasive. They hold the record for the most number of ants seen per square metre. Over on Christmas Island, scientists recorded up to 2,000 of the ants per square metre. In numbers like that, the natural ecosystem stands no chance of surviving. In fact, the ants are infamous causing an ecological disaster on the island.
They killed 40 million of the island's famous red crabs. The ants attack the crab's eyes with acid, meaning it can't move. The crab then dehydrates and dies and becomes food for the ants. The red crabs on Christmas Island would eat the leaves and seeds on the forest floor. With millions of them wiped out, the entire ecosystem of the forest floor changed. This is what the forest looked like before the invasion, and now. The transformation is just so dramatic, it's unbelievable. You might as well be looking at two different island ecosystems where the ants are present in high abundance and where they're not. And while the ants don't directly affect trees, they encourage swarms of these scale insects to spread. The insects feed on tree sap and they excrete a sugary waste product that the crazy ants eat. The ants actually protect and basically farm these scale insects so they maintain them as a food source. But those insects stress the tree to the point where it can die. Now, this isn't the work of just one or two ants. In 2001, scientists discovered a super colony that spanned 750 hectares on Christmas Island. One government paper estimated that super colony could have been home to 7.5 billion ants. Without human intervention, the crazy ants aren't very good at spreading large distances. The ants only spread about 100 metres in an entire year. But they manage to spread to different parts of the country through the movement of soil, through pot plants and farming machinery. So far, they number in their billions all over the tropics. And they've set themselves up in a particularly bad and growing outbreak in Townsville. just gone, they've multiplied. I think we've gone from a couple to millions. Um, you know, they're getting little bites from them. Um, and even to the point when the kids play outside in the yard and they head in for a bath, sometimes there's ants in the bath that come off the kids. So it's really starting to restrict different areas that we can access in our yard. When Samantha Kukutsa plays with her two kids in their backyard, most of the time she has to hold her youngest off the ground because as soon as her kids are in the grass, they're covered in the acid-spitting ants. I don't want the infestation in my home, and that's, that's a constant daily battle at this present point. Yep. Up the road, Vaughan and Yvonne live with them all through the house, too frail to deal with the infestation. It looks like the ants are crawling right up onto your feet yeah, here. Yeah, they will. They'll crawl right up onto you. The ants here aren't just a nuisance. They attack people and their pets with toxic acid and could wipe out vulnerable native species. But, you know, you'd, you'd wonder a little thing like that wouldn't have much acid to, to squirt out, but apparently they do. At Alligator Creek in Townsville, the ants are just five kilometres from Bowling Green National Park, where unique species such as the Mount Elliot crayfish and the Mount Elliot nursery frog live, which are only found in this part of the world. If the yellow crazy ants get into this national park, we're concerned that we'll see extinctions in the near future. Here in Townsville, the residents are taking matters into their own hands. An environmental charity group hands out bait to residents and explains how to use it. They're shown what the ants look like and where to find them, which isn't hard because they're everywhere. There are already families that can't use their backyards. They have trouble just having a drink on their back veranda in the evening because there's yellow crazy ants everywhere. Um, they're noticing them in their houses, they're getting into the electrical infrastructure. You move from an area where there's high biodiversity and as you arrive where the yellow crazy ants are, you notice the silence. It is the silent forest. You, you've lost all your insect species, you've lost your small reptiles. But the ants on the surface are probably just a fraction of the billions lurking on trees or in the soil. At most, there's probably only 5% of the population foraging at any particular time. So most of them are in the nest, wherever that is. Um, there's a lot of ants that you don't see. We can't predict the scale of the ecological damage the ants will cause until they're already established. Everyone here is hoping they're stopped in their tracks well before then.